One of the top goaltenders in the nation returns between the pipes for the Michigan State Spartans. He is Jake Hildebrand. Jake, I guess I start with why you're back in East Lansing. Had the opportunity to test the pro waters, decided instead for another go in college. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, after talking to my family and friends and uh, a lot of well-respected people, uh, especially the coaches, too, I mean, I thought it was a great opportunity to come back here, and I'm really excited for the team that we have coming back, too. Jake, you've seen the evolution of the goaltender position. So many guys now 6'2", 6'3", and bigger. You've kind of bucked the trend, not the biggest goaltender out there. How has your skill set helped offset what I wouldn't say is a lack of size, but certainly not as big as some of the other guys? Uh, well, you know, I try to use my technical game as much as I can and try to play simple. I think uh, when I'm playing simple, I'm playing well. Uh, I mean, I try to be positionally sound, too. I think that's one of the most important things as a goaltender is try and be in position because a lot of pucks will just hit you that way. So I try and focus on a lot of those things that I can't control. Your first couple of years in East Lansing, the struggles were on the offensive end. You guys were really good on the backside at the blue line, obviously with you between the pipes. Last year, the offense started to click a little bit, but that also meant that you saw some more shots. How have you seen this team and the style that you're playing under Coach Anastas change over the last couple of years? I think we've definitely grown, especially my freshman year. We had a lot of young guys, and you know, as the years have gone on, we've gotten a lot of experience. You know, People have really started to bloom. Uh, Ferentino, Coxie, McEachern, and everybody's playing awesome. And you know, I think we want to just keep moving forward. I think uh, you know a lot of the older guys this year are going to have great seasons. What do you think the identity of this particular Michigan State team is going to be? Well, I think every year we've had a kind of a blue collar mentality. Uh, we've had a great penalty kill. I think most of the years that I've been here, and you know we find ways to put the puck in the net. Um, you know being gritty around the dirty areas in front of the goals and the corners and things like that. So, you know, I'd, I'd say our team's pretty blue collar. Jake, with the Big Ten schedule and just six teams in the league, you play everybody four times. It certainly builds rivalries, builds familiarity. But from a player's perspective, would you like to see the league get bigger? Would you prefer for there to be eight or even 12 teams, less four-game series, but more variety in the opposition? Well, I think it's really exciting to play a team that many times throughout the year. I think we played Michigan six times last year, which definitely, like you said, creates rivalries. But, uh, you know, I think expansion would be great as well. Getting to see other arenas and travel different places would be really exciting for us as a, you know, an entire conference. For you individually and for the team, what's the goal going to be heading into the 2015-16 season? Well, I think, uh, you know, the goal has been progress the last few years and, you know, every year we want to finish in the top two in the Big Ten. Last year we, uh, we achieved that goal. We got the, the first round by heading into the conference. But I think, uh, you know, a lot of us believe we can achieve more this season. You know, fight for a Big Ten title, regular season and playoffs. And, you know, we got that GLI too around Christmas time. So, you know, we want to be right in the mix for that, uh, you know, NCAA tournament right at the end of the year. What would you tell your freshman self about doing well in classes and balancing hockey with academics? I tell myself, uh, you know, make sure I'm taking care of things before they're due. Um, not just before they're due, but days before they're due. I remember uh, freshman year, if I had to write a paper uh, due on a Thursday, I'd probably start on the Tuesday or Wednesday. So I think as I've grown, it's starting the week before or that Monday. <laughs> All right, if you could write that letter, what teacher would you tell them about? Maybe a professor that you want to make sure you take one of their classes. Uh, I took a communication class. It was uh, with a couple, and I, I really enjoyed the class. Um, you know, they, they didn't allow any kind of technology in there, so it was just taking notes on a notepad, which, you know, you don't see many classes nowadays. But I think, uh, you know, that going into a class like that, I think it helped me learn a lot about it. All right, Jake, I appreciate the time as always. I'm sure we'll be talking throughout the year, man. Good luck this season. Thank you very much. I appreciate you having me.